how to add products on Shopify store quick and easy. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to add products on Shopify store. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you will open up your Shopify store and you'll get right here. This is our main admin that we get with our Shopify store. If you have created a store on Shopify and you are a complete beginner and you want to add products, this tutorial is for you and I'll show you how to add products on Shopify very easily. First of all, once you create a store on Shopify, you will log in and this is where you will get. Creating an account on Shopify is really easy and you can also get a free trial. Once you get to the main admin on your Shopify, then you will be able to get a menu right here. We have home, orders, products, customers, analytics, marketing, discount and more. So what you need to do is you will click on the product option given right here, which is the third option. Now you can see it's showing me some of the products that I have already created. But if you are a complete beginner, you will have no product here. In order to add a new product on Shopify, click on add product button and it will open up the add product page for you. So let's add a product. First of all, you have to give your product a name. I am going to be adding a new hoodie, which is a yellow hoodie. So I'm just going to give my product a name. Perfect. Then we have description. This is where you will be adding a description for a product that you're adding on Shopify. So if you have like hoodies, if you have dresses or any kind of, you know, thing that you sell on Shopify, you will add the description right here. For now, I'm just going to go with the word yellow hoodie, which is the name of the product again. And I will just type in few things. All right. In the description, you can also add an image or a video to describe your product. If you have a review video, if you have feature video, so anything like that, you can add in the description. Moving on, we have media. This is where you will be uploading the photos for your product that you have. This is an important part because this is the one thing that a lot of people look when they are buying a product. In order to add a media, click on add files and it will allow you to select from your computer. So I have uploaded a product image that I have. In the media, we can also upload product videos and more. So you can see I have one photo. We can add more than one picture of the product as well. So I have uploaded this picture. Then we have pricing. This is where we will be adding the pricing for the hoodie that I have minted. Keep in mind, the price is going to be in the currency that your store has. So if you want to change the currency for your store, you will have to go to settings and do that. I have rupees right here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the amount compare ad price so if you want to give discount or anything like that or if you want to charge tax then you will add a comparison rate right here then we have cost per item so the cost per item is actually 800 and you can see we have 60 percent margin and the profit is 1200 for this product that i have moving on we have inventory this is where you will be adding the location for your inventory now it depends on what platform you're using if you're using cj drop shipping multiple locations or spocket so if you have like your own inventory then you can just add multiple locations or you can select cj drop shipping or spocket from here then we have SKU, stock keeping unit, and barcode that you will enter right here. Track quantity. If you want to track the quantity of Shopify, then the product, then you will select this option. Then we have continue selling when out of stock. So I do not want that and I will be tracking the quantity of my product. Moving on, we have quantity. Now, this is where we will add quantity of the product that if it is uh, like 100 products are available, 200, when this product will be out of stock and how many products we have in our shop location. So we have two locations added. Again, the locations that you add are in your settings right here. So you can go to location and add as many locations as you want of your store that you have. So we have like a New York warehouse and then we have a shop location. So we can enter the quantity right here or you can leave this option for now if you want to. Then moving on, we have shipping. Shipping is an important part of a product on Shopify because of course we are selling the product and we will be shipping it. 
So this is a physical product. Keep in mind, we can now also sell digital products on Shopify, the products that we don't actually have to sell physically and they're downloadable products. So they are downloaded, they are not shipped. So that is why we have to select if this is going to be a physical product or not. So this is a physical product that we will be shipping. We have to enter the weight. Custom information such as the country and region where you are shipping this product. And then we have HS, which is the harmonized system code that you have to enter. Moving on, we have options. Now, this is where you will add the variants of your product. A lot of people don't know how to add variants on Shopify. Well, when you are creating a product, the last option is the options. And you're going to select this product has options like size and color. And this will create the variants right here. I'm going to go ahead and add the sizes, of course. So I'm going to create a variant for small. Then we have medium and large. So it depends on you how you sell your products. And then we can go with extra large. So you can also go with like X and XL, but I just go with, you know, large and extra large so that it's very easy for people to understand. Click on done and the variants of a new product will be created. So you can see we have four new variants for the product that I have. We have small, we have medium, large and extra large. Now, if you want to change the pricing for each variant, let's say that there is a color which is very unique and the combination that you've created and you want to sell it on higher prices than the original price then what you can do is you can add multiple pricing right here for each variant. So you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and add another one, which is going to be the color. So just enter right here. I'm going to go with color. In color, we have, of course, we have yellow. And with yellow, we actually have also some of the black ones. And then with yellow, we have another one, which is actually a gray yeah so these are the variants that we have i'm going to click on done and eight new variants will be created small black then we have small gray small then we have medium black medium gray so this is how it works and of course the color yellow so i'm just going to go ahead and of course edit it right here so that it is also available so i'm going to add yellow perfect so now my variants are created this is how you create variants of a product on shopify and at the end, you will get your search engine listing. This is how what my product will look like on Google. We have our yellow hoodie and then we have like our shop URL and the description. Of course, this is the description that I added, but you will add the description according to you. Once you're done, we have some of the other options available right here. Product status, if it's active or dropped, it is active. This is the integrations that I have added. I have connected my Facebook sales channel with my Shopify. So that is why it's giving me the option of Facebook. I have also added Amazon. So it's giving me these options. How to connect your Shopify to Facebook, how to import products from Amazon. All of the different videos are available on the channel. I'm just going to sell it on my online store. All right, moving on, we have product organization, a product type, vendor collection and tag. This is where you will be creating a category. So to create a category, you have to select it's going to be shirts and tops product type. It's a hoodie vendor. I will add my own store as a vendor collection. So it's going to be the OK, let's actually add it to the home page. It's a new product. Then we're going to go with the tags and you can create different tags for each product to customize them better. And then we have online store template theme how this product will be shown on your store so once you're done with all of the settings on your shopify what you will do is you will click on save and your new product will be created right here it will also be shown on your store now and you will be able to find it with your other products that you have created so now if i go to the products you can see this is the new product that we just created it has 12 variants and now i can also like you know customize it and i will be able to edit it we can also import products from other platforms such as cj dropshipping amazon and others so what you can do is you can just click on import and get the products with the photos and all the details so this is how you will be adding a product on shopify you can also get a preview so let me quickly give you a preview as well click on this preview on online store and this is what it will look like so yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.